Cabin luggage size has been shrinking over the course of the last couple of years, unfortunately. And while on our channel, I often refer to the IATA's guidelines of 56 by 45 by 25 centimeters when it comes to ultra compacts, the truth is that many airlines have requirements below these numbers at this point. That being said, a majority of airlines also offer gate checking for strollers or have other diverse solutions to make travel easier for parents. Over the past couple months, I researched the gate checking policies, cabin luggage requirements, and other child-oriented offerings of over 100 airlines in order to put together an extensive guide on our Patreon page and found a lot more variation than I'd expected. Everything from cabin luggage requirements too small for even the Cybex Libel, from airlines that also had no gate checking options whatsoever, policies oriented solely towards umbrella models, while also airlines that bend over backwards for their customers with how they accommodate for parents with strollers, as well as, in some cases, companies that provide their own strollers for you to use during traveling. My general feeling after putting this guide together is that for most people around the world, the days of just getting an IATA-compliant travel stroller and counting on not running into trouble at the airport are waning, and that it's increasingly necessary when traveling with a stroller to do some research and plan ahead, where both the airlines you'll be traveling with, as well as the airports you'll travel through, are likely to affect your options. In any case, just a short video today, in order to let you all know about our new guide, which you can find a link for in the description. If you have any tips and tricks regarding air travel with a stroller that you'd like to share with other parents, please leave them in the comments below.